Good afternoon, folks. This is Carlton with Carlton's Travel Adventures. Another beautiful day in Medellin. I'm going to talk to you quickly about what I did yesterday. I went to Parque RV. Now, I won't spend too much time on it. Most of you know about Parque RV. If you don't, you can take the metro cable all the way up to, uh, to the end. All right, you got to change half the way up to another to another cable and pay, pay another 2400 another cable car go all the way to the end got me about probably about 20 minutes right all the way to the top and get out there a lot of, a lot of people selling uh, on weekends uh, Saturday Sunday selling the fruits and stuff they made local stuff uh, local um, you know uh, sauces and hot sauces and all this stuff local artisans selling goods they made good experience to see but Every time I've been there, I've been there about three or four times with guests, I always stop right in that area, you know? But there's so much more to see about the area. There's a trail that takes you about uh, two miles or something, down a hill, another trail that goes about two hours, and there's also a lake above and a lake below Parker Air RV. One's called Laguna, but that's one below. So I wanted to go see the lake. That's the reason I went. You know, because I already saw, you know, that one area where all the tourists uh, see. But I went there, I had my Nikon camera, and I asked the guards out the front, went out to the front gate where the, where the street is, and I asked the guard how to get to uh, the lakes. And he said, do not go by yourself. So what do you mean? I mean, I, I have a problem here in Colombia. He said, no, you got a camera, you're by yourself. It's a bad neighborhood if you go above. I said, really? So I really want to go see. They said, "No, we advise you do not go see. Go by yourself. It's a really bad neighborhood. I think it might have been called Cisnero. I, I, I don't remember what he said. I think it might be Cisnero. It's just a really bad neighborhood. So don't go by yourself. Go with two or three people." So I thought about this, you know, ignore him and go by myself. But I said, "Okay, let me just take his advice and, and, and chill." And I met two other guys. One from uh, me, uh, sorry, for another day. I went from uh, Miami Beach, and uh, they were. You know, first time there, so we had something to eat, um, and then we looked at the map, went to the information office. And they showed us a spot we can visit. Um, it's called uh, uh, the picnic area, spot number three. We go up there, get a map, look at spot number three. Or if you have a group of people, go to go to the, go to the lakes, check them all out. It's nice. They also have horseback riding there. Sort of horses there. You can do that also. You know, I'm definitely going back to see the lakes. Okay, back next week. But we took a walk. You can walk or take a bus. We uh, walk down a hill and then uh, make a right turn. You gotta go walk about, I don't know, it's about half an hour walk to the picnic area. Really nice area. I, like I said, I've been to Park Your RV about three or four times. I've never seen this part of it. It has, you know, a uh, place you can camp. It has like waterfalls coming down, streams. Beautiful. I mean, the water, the water is clear, 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 clear. You know, and you can camp up there. Uh, keep going up to the top of the waterfall to the end, with a with a shot, shut it off. You can have the, just a big uh, area you can swim. You know, and the water's not cold, so it's not too cold. So they say, the kids say anyway, and they're diving into the water. It's pretty pretty good uh, pretty good hole there. You can swim. So if you want to spend a day, get a backpack, be swimming swimming uh, chunks. And go swimming up there, man. It's really the water. It's just beautiful. It's clear. So check out more about Parker RV. Not just the spot where you get off the metro cable and people are selling stuff right there. Okay, here we go. Check it out. And folks, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe, subscribe. All right. A lot of good stuff in this channel. Bringing more, more, more. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cost you nothing. Bye. What's up? What's up, folks? Uh, today I'm going to head up to Parky RV, show you Parky RV. A lot of people talk about Park, Parky RV, but they only show you the metro cable going up in that one area where the, people, the artisans sell all their goods and so forth, stuff they make. Uh, but there's a lot more to Parky RV than meets the eye. Okay? There's a spot I used to go to. That uh, little restaurant, uh, a few, a few, uh, maybe a um, quarter mile away, they sell these natural vegetarian uh, lunches that is great.
I'm gonna try to go there again and show you that today. But there's also a big, big, big park there. They have uh, lakes, they have horseback riding, all kind of stuff that people never really show on, um, on YouTube. So I'm gonna go up there and try to take a shot of that for you, show you more about Parker RV, okay? All right, I'm gonna pass on all the Metro cable stuff till I get up there. So I'm at the Metro station waiting for the train. You gotta go to the Acevedo station, get the Metro cable. But one thing people will be aware of over the, next, over the last uh, three or four months, they've been renovating the Acevedo station. And if you don't get in the first three cars for the train, you can't get off. I got stuck one time. It's the other, other cars are blocked off, you can't exit. So you gotta get in the first three cars on the, on the train, to be able to get off in Acevedo and take the Metro cable. Here's a little view of the countryside. So that's, that's Medellin, folks. It's pretty. We have to change metros about halfway up to the new one to go up the rest of the way. So I'm changing right now. Going to a new metro. So here I'm up in uh, Parker RV. I wanted to go see the lake. And I saw this right here. Look very carefully. I asked the guy where the lake was. He said it's on this trail, and look at look, look at the time limit on that trail. That scared me off. Two hours walk. I said no way I'm going on a trail. Two hour walk. So I'm gonna see if I can take the bus up there and take it uh, to the lagoon. All right. I'm not gonna walk two hours, especially with my back. <laughs> I am tired, taking a long trick, half an hour walk, and exhausted. Did you get a picture? Yeah. The video's here. We're walking to, what's the name again? I don't know the name of the place we're going. Picnic area. Picnic area, zone three, picnic area. I'll show you on the map. Okay, but it's up a hill. So. We started here, and our destination is number three. Okay. So we're walking down the road to okay. destination number three. All right, here we go. I hope I'll get killed by a car. So we walked half an hour to the picnic area here. I'm going to check it out. Choro Clarin. So we started here, and we're going to here. But where here are we? Okay, folks, that's how we get in here. I know. <coughs> and where do you go from here? Down here? Yeah, down this way. Okay, this must be down this hill right here. All right. Let's go keep going. We're going to find this picnic area in a minute. Wendy? Mm -hmm. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you all doing? What are these called? What are these called? No idea. No idea. There must be a label somewhere. Maybe some kind of tobacco or something? What's up? Hola, como estas? How you guys enjoying your trip too? Excellent. Excellent? Fantastic. From Miami and from? Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale. Let's hear it. Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. <laughs> Some more tourists, more gringos. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful here, man. I've never seen anything I love black. To I love to oh. these. Uh, I know. So tell me, guys, what are these things called? 
It must be tobacco. All right. One of my subscribers tell me later on. I don't think so. I, have no idea. I think tobacco is green. Guessing. Tobacco is green, I think. This is number three on the map. It's a picnic area. We walked here about half an hour walk. And some people over here at the picnic area. Let's see. Beautiful here, though. All right. There's somebody grilling out here. Nice. Picnic Charo Clarin. Estación Siete. Oh, it's a ni nice long walkway here around the corner. Beautiful. Look at water. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is neat. Is this for exercise? Yeah, I think so, this yeah. This is sit-ups. Yeah. Come on, go on the seesaw. Oh, beautiful water. Oh, wow. Nice. The beautiful scenery here. I need to take a, take a shot of this with my cannon. Wait a minute. Then you can walk all the way up here in this path to the top. Temprano. Temprano. It's been uh, walk all the way up here. I think I came on the wrong side. I should have been on the bottom. Wow, first time up here, folks. Gotta check this out when you come back. It's all up in Parka RV. It's not just the main area where the artisans are. Camp up here, look like. Whoa, almost fell. Very tricky with the camera in my hand. Very tricky. I slip. I'm a goner. Oh yeah, man, this is neat. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Wow. Oh, don't fall. Almost fell. The kids are gonna fall. Damn. That is nice. I'm 
I'm gonna walk up there, guys. Gotta go up there. <laughs> it's a flip, back flip. Yes! <laughs> it's pretty deep, it looks like. Nice. 